Hi guys, Maro Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another fashion vlog. Spring is here you guys, spring is here and so I have a really fun video for you all today. One of spring's hottest trends is crystals, sparkle, and shine. And so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate those trends into everyday looks. So if that interests you, make sure to give a girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Without further ado, let's get into how to style, sparkle, shine, you know, a little extra into your everyday wardrobe. And of course, we're gonna start with my outfit of the day. Anything you guys see in today's video will be linked down below in the description box. Okay, so let's get started with my outfit of the day. I did a very everyday makeup look. I'm gonna do a get ready with me soon where I'll talk about the home buying process. So stay tuned for that and I'll do an update of my everyday makeup routine. The earrings are Ana Luisa. The dress, this is one of my favorite like mini dresses, knit mini dresses from the brand Enza Costa. Enza Costa makes incredible just throw on and go like jersey and knit dresses. They never wrinkle, they always look good. They come in a variety of colors, including whites, nudes, browns, neutrals, if you're a neutral type of gal. They also come in tons of fun, bright colors like this stunning, I don't know, what is this? What color is this, magenta? It's Is it giving magenta? I don't know, it's kind of a pinky purple. I mean, I've had this for a while, but Enza Costa is everywhere. You can find them on Revolve, you can find them on Forward, you can find them on Essence, you can find them on Shopbop. So I will be sure to link any Enza Costa dresses that I'm loving for spring and that will rock with you all the way through the summer. I always get a small in her dresses because they tend to have a ton of stretch. And they hit about mid calf on me. I am five foot six inches tall. I'm normally a medium or a size 28 in clothing. Now, to top off the look, I added my Loewe Obi belt in denim. I'm loving this belt. I have already worn it maybe like four times. <laughs> Since I purchased it from my Teresa, I initially ordered it from Saks, but it was a pre order. So I just canceled that order and then I got it on my Teresa and it came in like two days. Um, if I can find it anywhere online, I will link it. I am wearing the medium. They are true to size, so keep that in mind. Go with your normal size. This one isn't like the normal Loewe belt with the strap that you can adjust. This one has buttons, so you have to go with your normal size. And for the shoe, I just went with my denim Tom Ford padlock heels. I love these denim heels. I've been wearing them with everything. I love to pair them with this belt. So that is my outfit of the day. Let's get into how to add crystals and shine and sparkle to your spring wardrobe. You can go full crystal. <laughs> I hope you guys are able to see this, but this is a new M purchase. It's basically an all crystal dress and it is absolutely stunning. It's from the brand Alice and Olivia. And I actually picked this up recently when I was, I was actually returning something at Saks. And Saks is currently having a 25% off like friends and family sale. So this dress was on sale and of course I tried it on and it was the perfect fit. I got it in a size six and it is absolutely stunning. Um, there is a lining inside so that the crystals are not like against your body, which can be a little painful if you know you snag a hair or something. It does have a zipper up the back here and it's just beautiful, you guys. This is heavy, by the way. And then I love that the straps are very dainty, satin, barely there straps. Ugh. So I mean, if you wanna go full glam, this is the way to do it. Now there are tons of different brands who have created similar dresses to this. If you are not into the mini look, I have linked a ton of midi looks, mini looks, sheer, any kind of all crystal dresses. If you have an occasion to go to, you're going to a party, you are celebrating a birthday. This is it. 
the, she the one. So like I said, you can go full glam, you can go full crystal. Now for me, because this dress is doing the most, I decided to do the least with my accessories. I just ended up going with my black Gian Vito Rossi heels um, that I wear all the time and my black small Balenciaga hourglass bag. Those are my go-tos. Anytime I'm going out, like a girl's night out, a dinner at night, a date night, I am wearing those black Gian Vito Rossi heels paired with that black small hourglass Balenciaga bag. Like the combo, it's the combo for me. You could wear really any footwear you want with this. I kind of wish I had something in the silver family that I feel like would pull out the shine more in this dress, but absolutely stunning. I believe this is still on sale at Saks, so I will link it down below. It's true to size, I got the size six. I'm normally a size six, 28 medium, and it fits perfectly. So if you have an occasion where you need a sparkly dress, girl, she is the one. I've also linked down below similar to this dress that are more affordable because this is Alice and Olivia and she's giving price. Okay, she's giving pricey. Most Alice and Olivia pieces range from $300 to $600. So I will link similars at a lower price point um, and also different lengths in case you're modest, you want to cover up more. But the mini version just absolutely stunning works for me. So one way you can incorporate sparkle and shine and crystals into your wardrobe is just to go full. Just to, just to go full glam, go full crystal. Um, a few people I've seen do this really well is Leone, um, who is also a content creator, as well as Tamara, who is a YouTuber and a content creator. Like when I see them in those full length crystal gowns and it's sparkling at night, I mean, it's just a vibe and a moment. So keep in mind, I've linked a few of my favorites down in the description box. Now, similar to a sparkly dress, you can go sparkle top. You all have seen this top before. I've tried it on in a vlog, I'm a Miami vlog recently, and I actually went ahead and purchased this top from Intermix. If you happen to go onto my Instagram, I have an Intermix highlight on my profile right now. I have a coupon code for the Intermix label. It is PL10 for 10% off of any of the Intermix label pieces. And I also include a few of my favorite pieces with links to them in that highlight reel. You're, you're able to click the link and shop straight from Instagram. So definitely check out that highlight reel if you wanna see a few of my favorites from Intermix. But this is one of them. <laughs> it is this top by the brand New Nue. It is N-U-E with an accent A-G over it. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But I love this top. It's sparkly. It's incredible. When I tried it on in a vlog, I like put it on my Insta stories and asked you guys, should I buy it? And a lot of you said, I hope you bought it. And so I actually went back and got it. But I actually have to go and return and exchange this one because they sent me the wrong one. So they sent me the size small and it's just a little too small. I'm gonna need a medium or even a large because if I lift up my arms, you're gonna get a little boob action. And I mean, that's cute, but like, I'm, I don't, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> like, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna return this one and get a size up. But what I love about it is it does have rubber on the strap so they don't slide at all. It also is lined on the inside so these very intricate crystals are not rubbing against your skin and hurting you. And then on the side, it's kind of like a hook and clasp. Can you see? It's almost like a bra where you clip those to the side. But I love this look. It's so shiny and beautiful. It comes in a ton of different colors. I believe it comes in lavender. It comes in blue. It comes in gold, like a flesh tone gold. Ugh, so stunning. And so the way I would style this, because this is so dressy, it does come with a matching mini skirt. I wasn't able to get the mini skirt because it sold out before I had a chance to, but I would definitely wear this top with the matching bottom if I just wanted to go full glam, full shine, full sparkle for an event or a party. Um, but I actually like the top by itself because I would definitely dress it down. Something this extra needs to be dressed down. Um, and so the way that I would style this is with a pair of high-waisted mom jeans. 
you'll see me modeling this in a pair of high-waisted mom jeans. I believe these are old from H&M. I've had them for a while. And I just like that look. I would probably also throw a blazer on this just to elevate it a bit. I think the blazer that, that I threw over is like a lavender linen blazer that I've had for a while. I got it from and other stories. And other stories, like come spring and summer, they have amazing outerwear. Very light, very breathable, even for warm climates. And for the shoe, I just went with my purple Bottega Mules. They almost match the blazer, but not quite. It's just a little bit off, but I actually like that. So that's a fun way to dress this down. If you're not really into colorful blazers, which is gonna be a really hot trend this spring and summer, by the way, I'm gonna link a few of my favorite colorful fun blazers down below in the description box but you can also just tone it down with a black blazer this black blazer that i'm wearing here is the exact same as the lavender one also from and other stories i wish they still made these blazers i have them in three colors but they don't and then i could just pair it with a nice black shoe maybe a black sandal we all have a good black sandal this one is actually marco di vincenzo it's a braided velvet pump that wraps up the ankle these are one of my favorite pair of shoes anytime i kind of want to elevate a look then i'm kind of dressing down like a pair of mom jeans i usually pull the, these out and they do the trick um these are true to size but they're super old i'm not sure if they're still available but i'll link similars down below so those are two like ways that i would dress down this very sparkly new a top um, I will link this down below. Go with your normal size for sure. I'd also like to mention that there are already tons of dupes for that sparkly top. I know Zara has a dupe in red. I've seen a few people rock those. I've seen it in person. It is stunning. I'm not sure if they still have it, but if so, I'll link it down below in the description box. I'll also just link a few similars because I know that because crystals are, are so big right now for spring and for summer, so many brands are doing some kind of version of a crystal crop top or a tank top. And so I'll link a few down in the description box. Next up is another top that's very similar. This top is actually chain mail. And I feel like chain mail is also another huge trend for spring and for summer, whether it's gold, whether it's silver, or even colorful. Now this top is one that I got in from Meshki. It's a really good like dupe for the previous top that I showed you. I mean, it still has that sparkle and shine, but it is not crystals. It is the chain mail and it also has a little clasp here in the back. So you are able to adjust it properly to your body. And then it still has those chain mill straps as well. It is lined with a beautiful satin, so it's not against your skin, which is great because that can be painful. Um, this one is a size medium. I believe Meshki still has this top, so I will link it down below. It does come in silver as well. Now for this, this is this is this is a little less sparkly and shiny than the previous top this is more for every day it's a little more relaxed as well i really like how this one lays on the body now for this look i paired this with a pair of high-waisted like very wide leg margella jeans you guys i waited for these jeans to go on sale and here's the thing margella rarely ever goes on sale so i ended up buying those jeans from Saks. i i will link them down below hopefully the Saks sale is still going on when this video goes live i believe it will be still going on i think it goes until the 29th yeah so what i would do is if they still have these jeans i will link them down below go with your normal size i will also just link a few of my favorite things from the Saks sale so if we have similar like style just check out the description box there'll be something that says my favorites from the sack sale and you can shop all of the links i paired these with a pair of margella high-waisted jeans with beautiful seaming i love these jeans um, they're great they're super long too so for the footwear i paired this with a pair of gold padlock tom ford sandals I love the look for the bag i added my gold small 
Fendi first bag in that crinkle leather. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a moment. It's a little bit extra. If you don't do it, do it big, <laughs> right? I mean, the bag is also adding an element of shine and sparkle that's also trending and so are the shoes with the Tom Ford gold, almost crinkle leather as well in that stunning heel that the, the Tom Ford padlock sandals have. By the way, I don't know if you guys are watching all of my videos, but I posted a reel onto my YouTube channel of like my shoes talking to each other. <laughs> now I've been doing these for a while. I started them last year when I very first moved to Miami in like February, 2021. And I've since made four. So it's kind of like a series. So yeah, if you want to see more of these reels, just head to my Instagram. I have a highlight that says shoe reels and it has all of them there and you can watch them all. But I just think it's so funny. Anywho, I love the look of this paired with those denim jeans paired with those Tom Ford shoes and then another element of like gold sparkle with the Fendi First small bag. So speaking of like bags and shoes, as you can see, you can incorporate sparkle, you, you can incorporate crystals and you can incorporate shine with your accessories, whether that's bags like that gold Fendi First bag or shoes like the gold Tom Ford shoes. And also there are so many bags that have sequins, crystals. Uh, there are some beautiful crystal bags. I can't remember the brand. I have maybe like two or three in my Farfetch cart right now. I do have a Farfetch code as well. I believe it's still 10 Monroe, all capital letters, but it gets you 15% off. I'll put it down in a pinned comment if it's been updated as well as in the, the description box. But yes, Farfetch has some amazing like crystal bags. Oh, like crystal, like the top I just showed you guys. I have like two or three in my cart. They come in a ton of different colors. Incredible. I'll link those down below. But speaking of sparkle and shine in your accessories, I could not make this video without showing you this bag. This is the sequin sunset or sunrise, I'm not sure, Fendi baguette. And I've had her for exactly a month and I wear this bag almost every day. I thought I was really gonna be scared to wear it because the sequins are very, very delicate, but I don't care. Y'all see how much I wear this bag? like. Outside of Instagram, I wear this bag almost every day because it has so many great spring colors in it that I can pair it with pink, I can pair it with like yellow, I can pair it with purple, I can pair it with orange, I can pair it with red. Um, and I have a lot of those fun bright colors in my wardrobe. So this works so well for me. They also have this in green. I feel like I need the green one. The green has different variants of green and I believe silver. Green is one of my favorite colors. So I absolutely love that. They also have these in smaller sizes. Um, this is the regular baguette size, but they also have like minis in different colors. It's the sequence for me. If you're not familiar, just y'all gotta go over to the Fendi website because they are coming out with a Fendi First bag in sequins in all different colors like in gold sequins and like a beautiful like ice blue <laughs> sequins you guys they're doing so much like i'm really trying to conserve my dollars but fendi makes me want to spend them all so the way that i styled this bag i usually wear like a solid color that pulls out one of the colors in this bag and i just rock it rock it that way i believe i wore this with a yellow mini dress by Colt Gaia. I'll link that dress down below. I wore this with a pink petal and pup dress. I'll link that dress down below. That dress comes in six colors, okay? And it's fully stocked right now. So you wanna get it. I'll link that dress down below. Oh, I also wore this with a pair of yellow thrifted pants and a white halter top from Farfetch. I'll link that whole outfit below as well. I'm trying to think, what else did I wear this with? So many things. But the way I styled it today is actually with this dress from Enza Costa. And I feel like it pulls out these two colors here. 
in the dress and it just works. And for the shoe, again, I went with the gold um, Tom Ford padlock sandals. Um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but the padlock sandals run small. To me, they run a, a full size small. Um, I'm normally a US size 10. Um, in any European made shoe, I usually wear a 41. In the Tom Ford padlock heels, I had to get a 42. And 42 is the largest size that Tom Ford padlock heels go up to. So if your foot is bigger than a 10 US, it's a no-go. <laughs> None of them are gonna fit ever unless they decide to come out with size 43 and i don't believe they will but this is one way to wear this stunning bag you know just a solid dress so i do believe that that bag is finally on the fendi website so i will link it down below along with some of my favorite crystal sparkle sequin bags of all different price points from very affordable to girl that is a few months rent <laughs> prices down below in the description box and you can check them out especially those stunning crystal bags from farfetch Ugh, i need them all now i've already shown you the accessory of a, just using like bags to elevate your spring summer looks by adding some sparkles some shine some sequins some extra fabulousness i'm going to show you how to add crystals now just incorporating those into your footwear so we're going to start with these if you've been watching me for a while you've seen these already in a spring styling haul video um, i'll link that down below but these are the crystal jimmy chews do you guys see those crystals all the way down the back and the crystal ankle straps uh in this beautiful lime green color but the pointy toe is the pointy toe for me i just want you guys to know pointy toes are coming back okay for a minute it was the square toe with the bottegas and i'm never getting rid of my bottegas like i know some people think they're ugly they're hideous i do not care i'm gonna wear them because they're some of the most comfortable heels i love the style I don't care if it goes out of style, I'm still gonna wear mine. That's kind of what happens when you actually have a sense of personal style and you're not just buying trends. Trends don't matter to you. You're still gonna rock your stuff whether it's in trend or not. And that's how I feel about square toe Bottegas. But that's a different story for a different day. But pointy toes are coming back. They are very chic and these are stunning. They come in a ton of different colors from Jimmy Choo. I did have to size up a full size to a 42 in these as well. They run a bit small, but I love the shine of this satin and this beautiful lime green and then just all of these sparkles. So just keep in mind, you don't have to go full glam with a full sparkly dress. You don't have to have a bag full of sparkles or sequins or a top made of full sequins. If you just wanna dabble and the crystal trend start with a shoe a shoe with a little bit of extra sparkle and shine works just as well now for this look because these are very girly to me these are very sophisticated very very chic even though they're in a fun like millennial-esque color i always have to pair these down I have not yet had an occasion where I could dress these up yet because it's just not me. And so I actually love to wear these with either denim shorts, denim skirts, or denim jeans. And so for this look, I paired these with a pair of a goldy denim balloon jeans that kind of hit me above my ankle. So you can still see the crystal strap of these. Um, stunning Jimmy Choo heels and then I just paired those jeans with a t-shirt a screen print t-shirt from the brand from the archive which is a black owned business I have a ton of <laughs> their t-shirts um, they're usually from different just moments in time with black artists musicians that I absolutely love the top I have on is the ill Nana top which is Foxy Brown and I love me some Foxy Brown. I also have their Refugee top with the Fujis. I have so many of their tops. They're, they're very well made. I always get a medium in their top. So I'll link them down below. Definitely 
give them um, a look if you're into screen print tees. They're very, very comfortable. They last forever. The more you wash them, the more comfortable they get. So it's stunning. Um, but there is a little bit of green in that top and it pulls out the green in these Jimmy Choo heels. And then the jeans are just very relaxed. And so I absolutely love this look. And this is how I would add just a tiny bit of sparkle and shine with my footwear to a spring summer look. All right guys, so I have another pair of shoes that you can incorporate into your spring summer wardrobe to add a little sparkle and shine if you wanna pare it down and keep it classy. And it is none other than these Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pumps. Now I got them in a super fun color. These are the satin yellow ones and I absolutely love them. I don't wear them enough. I actually forgot that I had them because they've been in storage for almost a year. But I'm happy to be reunited with them. They have this beautiful crystal embellishment on the toe. And I think this is such a classic shoe. I believe someone asked me in a previous video if they should choose between two shoes, which one should they choose? And this was one of the choices. I told them to go with the Hangisi because it's always going to be in style. It's always gonna be a classy, chic pump. It's never gonna go out of style, ever. Um, they come in so many different colors. They're very, very comfortable, very well made. They add a little sparkle, a little shine, a little elevation a little chicness to any outfit. And so again, I pair these with those same kind of balloon shaped denim jeans from a Goldie. By the way, I believe I'm wearing a size 28. I'm usually a US size six. The 28 in a Goldie jeans fits me perfectly. Um, I will link these jeans down below because they still are available and I love the length of them because if you have a good shoe and if you're a shoe guy like me and you wanna show off your shoes, these are the jeans that are gonna help you do that and they, they just feel incredible. Very amazing quality denim. But I paired these with those same denim jeans and for the top, I actually went with one of my sheer string tie shirts in the front from Rat and Boa. Um, this top is kind of like, it has pink in it, it has a little bit of purple in it, it also has a little bit of orange and yellow. Um, and so the shoes kind of pull the yellow from the top. By the way, I'm wearing a medium in this top. I love this top. It's one of my favorite tops in my wardrobe. I love the way this outfit came together. It's playing on color, but still a little bit more elevated with the crystal on the, just on the shoe. So if you're not really a crystal girl, you can still dabble in the trend with accessories like shoes, and also like bags. If I can find any of these Hangisis down below, I'll link them. I do believe they have them at Farfetch in a few different colors. And these, I, I go with my normal size, which is a 41 and they fit perfectly. If not being just a tad bit big. So that's worth noting. What do you guys think about the Hangisis? I mean, I used to think they were leaning towards a too mature for me, but in a fun color like yellow or a really punchy color for spring, I think they work very well. So if shoes and crystal shoes aren't your thing, by the way, I will link some more affordable uh, shoes that have some kind of embellishment on it, whether it's crystals, whether it's an embellishment like the Manolo Hangisi, um, if you just want a shoe that has a little extra sparkle, check the description box. I will not only link the two pair I showed you, but a few more as well that are more affordable. So if shoes aren't your things, if bags aren't your things, if you're not gonna wear a full crystal dress, you can also just get a little sparkle and shine with your jewelry, diamonds, cubic zirconians, anything with a little bit of sparkle. Now, if you watched one of my previous Miami vlogs, you would have seen this stunning necklace from Electric Picks. I believe this is cubic zirconium, but you guys, it's so beautiful. Um, it, ha it has a gold back. It has a little clasp here that's adjustable. And I mean, it just looks stunning. It's almost like a choker. And the price on this is incredible. Now, I have so many pieces of Electric Picks jewelry and it really does last. 
Um, I've had a few of their pieces for two to three years. They don't turn and they just look great if you are going out for a night out, a date night, or a special event and you just want a little extra sparkle. This necklace, she the one. She the one and not the two. Okay, I will link this down below if any of you are interested. Just along with a few more of my favorite, very sparkly, very punchy necklaces, like crystal earrings. I know Retrofet has stunning crystal chandelier dangling earrings um, that I absolutely love that will just add a little bit of sparkle. So if you don't want to go with shoes, if you don't want to go with clothes or bags, you can always add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of shine very easily into your spring and summer wardrobe with jewelry. And so I will link some of my favorites down below along with this stunning kind of choker diamond like <laughs> necklace from Electric Pit. All right guys, so that is it for today's video and a few ways I would add a little sparkle and shine to my spring and summer wardrobe. Let me know which look, which piece was your favorite down in the description box. And also let me know if you want me to style any other trend, like the cutout trend, which is definitely gonna be huge. It's already huge for spring and summer with cutouts on dresses, on tops, on shirts, or even like feather trend. I know feathers are in right now. Or if you wanna see different ways to style denim or how to color block, Sound off below and I would definitely make this a regular series if you guys are into it. Everything you've seen in today's video, I have linked down below in the description box. I've also linked a few of my favorite like crystal dresses, crystal tops, dupes, um, shoes with embellishments and crystals, bags with sequins and shine and crystals. Um, so you can check all of those out in the description box. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give me a thumbs up. I would love to get at least 3,000 thumbs up on this video. It helps to push my videos out more and also to get new people to my channel. I do have a goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers this year. So if you're not yet subscribed and you watched it all the way to this point, you like me and you like the video. So you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.